My name is Josh Egan. I'm a workshop supervisor here at the Autodesk Technology Center. I manage the wood shop and the laser cutting shop. Here at the Autodesk Technology Center, we use Tulip to monitor some of our analog machines. One example is the Woodshop dust collection system. We use a Tulip app that looks at the dust collector and tells us if the power is on and whether the bins are full. We have a sensor that monitors it and in the Woodshop itself, we have a light that will tell us if it's operational or if it needs to be changed out. Really excited to use the new Edge IO devices to monitor our analog machines. I'm really thrilled to hear that we will get a higher resolution on our data stream and be able to get much more insights into what's going on in those machines. With the Edge IO, we've added some exciting new analog capabilities, specifically current monitoring and vibration monitoring. And this allows you to use the Edge IO as an analog oscilloscope to view your machine data. So at Autodesk, we were testing using the Edge IO to monitor a CNC mill. And to do this, we were using both a vibration sensor and a current clamp. The vibration sensor on the chassis of the CNC mill and the current clamp was hooked up to the power supply. The Edge IO is designed specifically to work with these low-cost, off-the-shelf sensors. You can buy the sensor and plug it directly into the Edge IO. Node-RED is a low-code, open-source platform that is flow-based, and it allows you to easily connect devices and sensors to your Edge IO, and the Edge IO can then send data to the cloud. On this early version of Edge IO, we're using Node-RED so that we have Tulip-supplied library flows that you can simply drag and drop into Node-RED. And when you deploy, it will allow you to capture data, send data to Tulip, and visualize the data in Node-RED. With Edge.io, we're really excited to have these new analog capabilities to give you new ways to unlock insights into your machines. With the high-frequency sensor data from Edge.io through Node-RED, we generate frequency and time domain graphs that can visualize the machine's behavior in real time. Edge I.O. and all of the data that it collects give operators a live view at the machine's performance for machines and equipment that might otherwise not be connected. The data is very flexible. It can be used as you need it in the Tulip ecosystem. Now with machine learning capabilities deployed on the edge, we can train AI algorithms that use the live data to predict the state and health of the machine. For example, if a tool becomes worn or if an anomaly happens during the CNC machining process, the operator can be alerted automatically. We're excited for the democratization of training for new users with edge technology. We teach a lot of people here. The idea of machine learning helps us to better address the folks who don't have the same level of experience that we have. With the new Edge IO device, we will be able to detect machine anomalies, which will create a feedback loop that is great for our new users, and it will help them get past the learning curve that is pretty steep, getting them up to speed on the machines and using Tulip.